In previous versions of Anime Studio, you had three separate tools that allowed you to work with your bones. There was a Translate Bones tool, which allowed you to move the bones, the Scale Bones tool, which allowed you to resize, and then the Rotate Bones tool, which allowed you to rotate. Well, with Anime Studio 10, everything has now been condensed into one bone, and it's referred to as the Transform Bone tool. You can see it right here. Now, you might be confused at first if you are a longtime user because it looks like the Rotate Bone tool, but it actually holds three different functions now. So, let's just find a bone here. And you can see when I place my cursor even near a bone, we have some handles up here. This is indicating that we are near that bone and we could work with that bone if we wanted to. Let's zoom in here on this bone right down here. And what we can do now is you can see that when my cursor is on the outside of the bone or even in the inside of the bone in the middle, basically anywhere where the bone is in the general area, if you click and hold down your mouse button, you're going to rotate the bone through the connected position. So basically you have your thick point right here. It will rotate from that point. So when you need to rotate, that's what you'll do. If you want to resize, you will find the skinny point of your bone or the last point to be drawn out right down here. And you can see my cursor now changes to a scale icon. If you click and hold and move up and down, you can see that I can scale the bone. Now finally, if you are looking to translate or move the bone, you'll want to go up to the other point. That's the top point here and where the bone is thickest. And if you click and hold, you can then move the bone around. And that's all there really is to it. Now, if you have issues with trying to grab the bone that you want, remember there is always the hide bone option. So you can select the bones that you want to hide. Let's say in this case, this one was kind of having issue because they were overlapping, just for argument's sake. Then you could focus solely on this bone if you wanted to. So I think as you work with this, you will find that the streamline process really makes working in Anime Studio a lot easier and a lot quicker. If you'd like more information on Anime Studio, you can visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you next time.